Hi, I'm Steve King. And I'm Johnny Putman. And for over a quarter of a century at Chicago's WGN Radio, we had the privilege of witnessing some extraordinary live performances in our studio. And introducing our audience to some really great new performers. And that's why we're here today at Jim Peterick's World Stage Studio. Jim had always been a fan of acoustic alchemy. He and his wife, Karen, um, and that's what inspired you to approach Stuart Coxhead, the manager of Acoustic Alchemy, and say, I would love to write lyrics to your they're melodies. In, they're instrumentals. They're, they're instrumentals. And what did he say? Have a go at it, chap. <laughs> <laughs> I said, really? Yeah. This is really a different mindset for both of you, mm -hmm. because you're both used to creating, to writing the, the music, to writing the lyrics. Now you're taking somebody else's music and saying, okay, we want to put lyrics on here, but you have to make sure the lyrics fit not only the melody, but the mood. It's, that's a whole different kind of creative thing, isn't it? It sure is. Like, Jim should speak to this because he's the one who actually put the lyrics to 10 of the songs. 10, 10 of the 11 songs. Yeah, uh, yeah we collaborated on, on the very last one. We thought the album was done. And then Acoustic Alchemy got a number one record with a thing called Marrakesh. And I love the song, Lisa loved the song, and we're going, we're missing a bet here, this is the number one song. So we created a song called Visions of Marrakesh, and Lisa and I went to our favorite cubicle at Starbucks, and worked there for three or four hours and got that lyric down, mm -hmm. and cut the track, she sang it, and it became one of the outstanding tracks of the record. Too is uh, that you got a little samba sound, you've got gospel, you got rock, mm -hmm. you got straight ahead jazzy sounds going on, all of that within the 11 cuts on the CD. And we can get away with it because it's all under the umbrella of Acoustic Alchemy's right. melodies. It's working. We would be sending tracks overseas, the miracle of uh, you know, email and file sharing, and they uh, were putting their brilliant guitar parts over our tracks, sending them back. Uh, they, they used their studio over there for all their overdubs. They felt they were receiving an opportunity and we felt we were receiving an opportunity. We hope you enjoyed this profile of Lisa McClowery. And we hope you get your hands on Lisa's new CD, Lisa McClowery Sings Acoustic Alchemy. It's available wherever you buy your music these days and at lisamcclowery.com. And since we have one in our hands, we're going to go pop it in our CD player. Ooh, in this world, it's a fight. Climbing from the wreckage of last night. Mix up, never black and white. Dancing on the in-betweens. beautiful mess.